Good things come to those who wait, but sometimes good things also happen while you wait. And thanks for waiting, because Fusion Studios is back with a new video on the MG Hector. The starry black colored edition shown in this video is a 1.5 liter petrol DCT sharp variant. Now in this video, we're gonna play with the infotainment system, and also we've dug out some secret features which is not shown in the MG website. Now without wasting time, let's turn on this beast. And here's the engine and exhaust sound while racing. Normally we see the DCT transmission on high-end luxury vehicles but MG Hector is the only mid-sized SUV with the DCT automatic transmission. So right now we are on the drive mode and on the right we have the sports mode. It gives a little bit more power from the engine and a better exhaust note. Now if you want to go for the manual mode you can do that by shifting up and down in the sports mode. The plus and minus symbols are the upshift and downshift accordingly. And then like normally we have the neutral, reverse and the park mode. The electronic park brake in this is designed similar to the manual handbrakes in the other cars whereby when we pull the handbrake it engages and when we push down the handbrake it disengages. And similarly in this when we pull up the button the park brake engages and turns on the indicator and then when we push down it disengages and turns off the indicator. Now let's move on to the infotainment system. The system is by AVN and it's a vertically oriented HD touchscreen display. Now in the MG iSmart app, if you had set the profile name as per your liking, the AI will automatically welcome you by spelling out your name. Falcon Hydra. And this is the home screen. And in the top right corner, we can see the profile picture and the username as set in the MG iSmart app. Inside the system, we have some default apps and also some default videos which is set in the system. To test out the full capability of the system, we had downloaded some various videos for varying formats like HD, Full HD, 4K, in MP3 and MP4 formats in different frame rates like 30 and 60 FPS. And then later, after testing it out in the system, the only ones it was capable of playing was the 180p 60 FPS videos in the MP4 format. Now let's test each of these videos and see how smooth it's able to play in this infotainment system and check its performance. Starting with the Sand 20p version. Now let's check out the Sand 20p 60fps version. Now let's check out the 180p version. Now that seems to be working fine, now let's check out the 180p 60fps version. Now these are the basic features like Ghana, Android Auto, Files, Settings, Phone, etc. Now let's jump into the settings and go to the upgrade panel. Now this one similar to the mobile where we can install the upgrades manually when it arrives. Now this one is fully updated to the latest version. Now these are the 
about features and privacy policies. No one's gonna read this by the way. And then we have the service terms, which again is a pretty long list. And then we have some software information under the iSmart tab. Now this is the user manual section of the vehicle. It shows all the required information you need about the vehicle. If you press on this icon on the top left corner, it takes you back to the main menu of the user manual. We'll just roughly go through all the section just so that you know. The 360 degree camera and the radar system is quite advanced in this price range. It actively tracks the objects around the vehicle. The green, yellow and the red warning light shows how far the objects are away from the vehicle. Now this is the EQ setting where you can set the pace, mid and triple and also the balance settings for various volume controls. Then we have the brightness control where we can do it manually or give presets like night, day or auto. The touchscreen occasionally becomes responsive but mostly it's fine. Then we have the date time function, vehicle setting. And this is the window roll down feature where you can control the windows using the car key. Then we have the car lock feature where it has the door auto unlock feature where it automatically unlocks the vehicle when the power is off and then locks the car when it goes about 10 km per hour. Now this is the car light feature where there is one illuminated entry feature and walk my home feature where it turns on the headlamp and interior lights when you unlock the car. Now this is the tailgate open position setting where you can have different settings for the tailgates. Then we have other features like wiper maintenance and auto folding feature for the rear view mirror when the vehicle is locked. Now this is the user setting where you can add on your personal details. Then we have the mode lighting features where the interior lights can be changed. Now there is a constant mode and a random mode where you can cycle between different colors as per your liking. Or set a constant color if that's what you like. Now let's check out the skin settings and this is the classic blue version. This changes the whole look of the interface. Personally I like the dynamic grey version more so let's switch back to that now. And this is the USB storage analytics. Then we have factory reset function where you can factory reset everything and make it brand new. And these are some firmwares which were activated. Now after playing with the audio for a while we found that the best EQ setting for the music was found to be bass in 3, mid range in 0 and dribble in 4. The loudness was turned on and then we have this interesting feature called as speed volume compensation where the volume increases according to the acceleration of the car. You can toggle it on and off using the button. Now below that we have the balance settings where we can pan the audio to any preferred location inside the vehicle. Now let's check out the camera system in the MG Hector. 
on top it shows the front cam and the bottom left corner it shows the side cam and the third one is the top view you can toggle the left right front back by pressing on the screen over it now the camera quality is quite average or maybe below average in low light but it changes when you turn the headlamps and tail lamps Now let's toggle the tail lamps and check how the quality is. That is ample light, the quality is quite fine. Now as requested by many, we'll show you how the mood lighting looks in the front and back of the car. Now this is how it looks in the co-passenger seat and the driver seat it looks similar. We have set the colors to random mode so it keeps changing. So this is how it looks behind. Now this is the rear left side and this is the rear right side. Now this is the instrument cluster of the MG Hector. Here it shows different settings like the driving time, range, and we have uh, the current speed, the trip settings, trip 1 and 2, and the average mileage. Tire pressure monitoring system it shows the temperature and tire pressure. This is the warning message indication and fatigue driving indications. Then we have music, phone navigation so we have the option to transfer the navigation display from the infotainment system to the instrument cluster which is quite handy usually in most cars we see the rpm meter on the left side and the speedometer on the right side but in the mg hector it's the opposite of that now there are about 100 voice commands you can activate without seeing the hello mg tagline for example mute unmute play radio you guys can pause and check it out. Now these are the add-on accessories you can buy with the car. For example, we have the car covers, a couple of mats, some chrome elements. And you might also get some free accessories from the dealership like tissue box, perfume and keychains. Some other add-on accessories like cushion sets, tablet holders, dash cam and seat covers are also available. Others include step board, number plate garnish, sun shades and more. Now this is certification we got from the dealership. Since the car had a 13 week wait period, MG provided free education for 7 girls. Thank you for watching the video guys. Click on the subscribe and the bell button to get our fusion updates.